Hey, hello, this is Andrea, and today is Thursday, the 28th of May, 2020. And I have a nice cup of coffee here. I hope you have something nice to drink. <laughs> is there anything like coffee when you first wake up? So I'm off by a day for my vlogs. Um, yeah. I, w I fell asleep. I went to sleep really early last night because I had a headache. I think because of cleaning stuff and all that. Um, cleaning, uh, cleaning fluids and things. Okay, listen. So we went to the store yesterday and I learned something. I don't belong in the store, especially during this uh, pandemic. There wasn't a lot of people, and for the most part, everybody stayed far away. And we have to wear masks in Pennsylvania, so everybody was wearing masks, but it still was stressful. And I can't emphasize this enough. There was no paper towels. There were no paper towels. The whole aisle was, there's nothing there except for like, there was a little, so it's paper towels and toilet paper in this one aisle. There's no paper towels, and then there's a couple things of toilet paper, and they're from some company I never heard of before. Mortar was there. There was a couple brands, but Charmin doesn't usually get there. Yeah, but there was like a whole bunch of this one brand that... I don't remember what it was called, but it had a Spanish name. And uh, they were really small rolls. Anyway, we had an invader here yesterday in our home. Let me, let me show you. Inside this Darth Vader, I will reveal. <laughs> Watch out, it's going to be scary. That looks pretty good in the screen. Uh, it's kind of curled up because uh, my husband soaked it with bug spray. I don't know what that is. Do you know what it is? It's a hornet. It's some kind of hornet. Demches. It's a hornet. My middle son thinks it's a queen, and uh, yeah, there was a lot of hooting and hollering going on. I was upstairs at the time, but I heard yelling and banging and stuff. Yeah. He had it trapped, and he was trying to get one of my sons to help him kill it. I was upstairs because I was trying to get rid of this headache I had from using... Oh, so the, what happens is we come home from the grocery store... And we clean everything off. We we spray we spray like a paper towel, or we spray the stuff directly, and we wipe the stuff off. Okay. And the smell was ugh, it gave me a headache. Okay. I finally finally the headache is gone today after yesterday. After yesterday, 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 I had a lot of troubles that happened yesterday. We fought a bug off with some bug spray. So anyway, um, Bob called uh, an exterminator, which I don't usually have exterminators over. All right, that's a long story. We're not going to discuss it. But I'm I am not an exterminator person, okay? And it, the idea of having an exterminator stresses me. But also, I have to agree with Bob that we don't want. Uh, a whole swarm of of wasps living in our house. I have to agree with that, you know. So he's, I don't know if he's coming today or tomorrow. He was supposed to come today, but it's raining, and he wants to be able to follow the paths of the insects to see where they're going. I don't know. Maybe he'll call. Who knows? The trash went out last night. Which is good because it didn't get put out last week, so we had two weeks worth of trash and recycles. A lot of recycles. Other than that, what's going on? Hmm. Well, there's a lot of stuff I could talk about that would make me sound political. But is it political? Or do people just want to keep killing other people? I'm just saying. Stop killing people. That's what about, all I'm what saying. Oh, beloved president trying to um, center. Oh, yeah. 
Well, that's definitely political if I bring that up, because it involves the president. Here's what I'll say in political terms. I believe in freedom of speech, and I believe uh, that people should, should get to stay alive. There's my, there's my political topics for the day. You're welcome. <laughs> you're like, no, Andrea, you're just here to entertain me. Talk to me on, about what's going on in your, in your boring life. <sighs> what is going on in my boring life? Well, I still got two dogs. My husband, I got a husband and two kids. Well, I have three kids, but two of them live at my house. Kids sounds like they're little, they're adults. Yeah, we've mentioned this before. Now it's just going on and on. Should be a new round of TV shows starting up soon. Some of the summer shows, so... Looking forward to that. Oh, I rewatched. I don't know if I mentioned this before. <laughs> this past weekend, I rewatched um, Phantasm. And, um, yeah, I hadn't seen it in a very long time. It's fun watching those old horror movies because they've got really weird effects in them. And then they have scenes where. You know how there'll be at least two cameras, so there's one shot coming from here, and there's one shot coming from here, and in this shot, the people are doing one thing, and in that shot, they're doing something different, and it doesn't match up. Oh, I don't know why I love that kind of stuff. <laughs> and the story doesn't make any sense. It's like they threw in everything so they could see what would stick, you know? I guess it's not. I guess it's not a spoiler alert if it came out. What it came out in 1979. So if you haven't seen it, I'm sorry. I'm about to spoil it for you, so you can skip this part. There's like okay, because the late 70s, early 80s, there's a lot of uh, top frontal nudity for women, so there's that in it. It's always close up, so you don't know if it's the actual actress or not. It's always just right in on. You know, like pillows or something. Anyway, there's like a scene. They're doing stuff in the cemetery, okay? And then somebody's friend, their friend dies. They go to the funeral. The younger kid can't go to the funeral, so he's watching with binoculars. He sees something weird going on. You know, he sees them do something weird with the, with the coffin, okay? So he tells his brother, his brother's like, eh, why are you following me around all the time? Da 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 da. Well, anyway, I'm not going to tell the whole story, but there's stuff like, uh, you don't know if there's zombies, you don't know, you don't know what's going on. These, these little people with, with, uh, hoods on, they're making chittering noises in the woods. Um, there's like, there's a metal ball that flies through the air and sticks to your head. It's got it's got knives and things on it. Um, they use that a lot more in the in the subsequent episodes. The sub because yes, there's more. There are more uh, there are more of those movies. But anyway, there's a super tall guy. So first of all, you got the super tall guy, and then all the other people are are little people. The super tall guy supposedly he came from another planet. And he needs little people to go to that planet and do work for him because of the gravity or something. They have to be little. How is he from that planet then if he's that tall? Like, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. None of it adds up, okay? It doesn't add up. It's just a big bunch of nonsense. You don't know when they're, when things are happening, when they're asleep. You, you know what I'm saying? When it's a dream, when it's real. It's, it's a... <laughs> It's like, it's like college students made it. And that's what makes it amazing. <laughs> Am I right, hon? <laughs> yes. We can, we can appreciate some, some classic, classically, yeah, like Bob says, classically bad old movies. Sometimes classically bad is, is, is good. It's awesome.
So, anyway, that's what's going on with me. Bugs and aliens. Or are the bugs aliens? They could be. <laughs> so, anyway, that's all I got for today. Hope you're having a good day, and I'll talk to you soon.